How are things? Uh, very well, David. Thank you. Uh, tell us about the survey. Uh, there's a lot of, there's a, quite a long wish list here. What would you say are the top three priorities? Sure. Let me start with uh, travel restrictions and uh, the visa process. So mm. what some viewers may not know is that it's difficult for our member company executives to get back to China. Uh, in the past, which has improved over the last week, there was a, uh, a step that was necessary beyond having a visa. So having a visa didn't get you back here. Uh, now that step is no longer necessary, so that's a good thing. However, uh, visas are still difficult to uh, obtain or renew. And there's a very acute problem because visa holders, even with a valid visa, can't bring their spouses or dependents. And there's not a lot of workers that are willing to spend you know, extended periods of time away from families. So we need to solve that, get people back on the ground so they can drive businesses and make investment decisions. Are you seeing any, I mean, what are your conversations right now with, with, with obviously the powers that be in, in Beijing around this specific issue? Is there any, any early indication that we might see this improve anytime soon? Yeah, we've had favorable reactions from several uh, high-level officials in ministries we talk to regularly. And while we don't think that we can get the sort of actual policy changed, we may be able to work within some framework of exceptions and just, you know, bring our people back. Okay, now I want to bring up the other thing, tariffs. It's easy to forget, given the pandemic and the regulatory environment that's dominated and useful right now, that there are th these tariffs still in place and still affecting, obviously, you and your counterparts, obviously, right there. So what's the ask? Well, uh, almost half of our respondents directly asked that tariffs be removed. 78% of respondents indicated that tariffs are having a negative impact on their business. And if we compare that result to a survey we did at the end of last year, that's up another 11 points. So uh, tariffs aren't helping business. People want to see them go away. Okay, and one of the things that actually made it up the list is a hope that we might get a meeting between the two presidents, President Xi Jinping and President Biden. Uh, would that, if that happens, I would imagine that in a lot of ways makes most of the other things go away. Is that an accurate description of perhaps that, that sort of underlying hope? Well, I love your optimism, David, but um, I don't know that that's what it means. <laughs> what it, what's happened over the last several years, first with the trade uh, negotiations mm -hmm. and then with uh, COVID, there's just grown uh, sort of a, a gap between the two countries and the uh, relevant officials and how much they communicate, which right now is not a lot at all. So we're really hoping that more um, regular communication can start to happen and resume some sense of normalcy. And certainly if it has to be or can be top down, meaning the two uh, countries' leaders get together and kick, re, you know, get that process going again, that would be a good thing. So we're all hoping for that. And then, um, of course, the working level folks need to talk frequently. Understood. Now, I just want to pivot away from the survey. I think we've covered most of this already. Uh, I'm wondering how the regulatory and regulation story is playing out across your members there, uh, because we talk about them usually in the context of the Chinese companies. I'm wondering what the conversations are when it comes to American firms in China. Are you guys worried? Are you, do you guys welcome what's happening? What's the general tone? Well, business craves uh, predictability and uh, stability. So, you know, we see a lot of uh, movements in the marketplace uh, and particularly at this sort of macro uh, economic level as it comes to uh, restructuring um, all the regulation. And so it's created some uncertainty. Now, I will say that um, the various ministries that we engage with have been very proactive in reaching out to us and saying, hey, you know, what questions or concerns do you have? So we're doing an awful lot to communicate around those things, but there's an awful lot that we need clarity for uh, so that people can uh, make investment decisions. I would say there's kind of a go slow approach right now to see how things shake out. 
And Greg, finally, talking to you guys, you know, gives us a very good pulse of what's happening in terms of what's happening on the ground, things like final demand. So I guess a two-part question here. Uh, people are trying to figure out whether the Chinese consumer is back. So what are your, I, I guess, B2C members telling you about consumption and whether or not we have returned to pre-pandemic levels? That's one. On your B2B members, the issue of logistics and supply chains and these bottlenecks, um, are you guys concerned? What are you guys seeing as far as that is? Well, on the uh, consumer side, I think we see uh, a bit of a, a difference in um, certain markets. So if you look at places like Beijing and Shanghai, Guangzhou and Shenzhen, uh, consumer activity is still pretty strong mm. and in other places less so. Um, so that's one thing. As to uh, mm. supply chain and logistics, um, things are still operating pretty well mostly because China does so well at controlling spread domestically of the of virus. And so um, there's great support for the supply chain. Uh, having said that, however, when you consider things like tariffs or other things, there's impact to uh, costs or impact to demand and such. And so, you know, that, that eventually reaches the factory floor as well.